What's going on everybody? It is your boy Dylan Matthews back at it again with another hometown take. Today yeah, we're talking about the Atlanta Hawks and they lose another one as they lose to the Milwaukee Bucks 124 to 115. Yikes. We got a lot to get into. I'm gonna save it for the video. First, Let's handle some business. Make sure you like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. Check out the first link in my description box to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel, help fuel the Atlanta Hawks to not even a win streak anymore, just to a win. We're gonna just take it one game at a time. So buy me a coffee if you can to help fuel the Atlanta Hawks just to win, just to win. Also, check out the second link in my description box to subscribe to the Tough Calls podcast. Me and girl, someone with this biz work are talking to your favorite former and current athletes, hosts, anchors, reporters, head coaches, all that good stuff. Listen to the pod, like the pod, download the pod, subscribe to the pod, and share it out to your friends so they can do all the same things. All right. Like I said, Hawks lose 124 to 115 to the Milwaukee Bucks. First... And foremost, John Collins, what the freak were you doing, bro? Like, what happened? Did you forget how to play basketball tonight? What was up with you, big dog? You're getting paid like the second best player on our team. But the way you played is not up to your pay. You're going to have to play up to your pay, big fella. Two points off of 0 of 9 from the field and 0 of 5 shooting from the three-point line, that's not going to cut it. That's not what we paid you to do, my guy. You can't have those type of games point blank, period. With this new contract that you got, you are not allowed to have those type of games anymore. If you are not getting it done from the field, I'm gonna need you to figure it out. We paid you all that money to figure it out, my guy. So I don't want to see not near one more two point, 0 of nine from the field and 0 of nine from, I mean 0 of five from three game from you ever again. You can't afford to have them games no more. Trey Young had a solid game, 27 points, 11 rebounds. He did pretty well shooting. Bogey, though, I got, you know, I got to say Bogey has been pretty consistent lately, but he did stink it up today a little bit. Uh, only nine points. I think he was like two of 11 or three of 11 or something like that from three. <clears throat> Everybody else had a solid game. Kevin Herter had a pretty good game in his return. I believe he had 14 points. Uh, hit a couple of threes. Did pretty good shooting from the field. DeAndre Hunter, another pretty solid game. 17 points. Clint Capella had 11 and 9, I think, or 9 and 11, something like that. Um, yeah, Kakongo had 13 off the bench. Gallo had 14 off the bench. So, uh, John, John, you, you couldn't give us something? You couldn't give us something, my bro? Bobby Portis. Bobby Portis put up 23 points tonight. You only got two. If Bobby Portis, and no shade to Bobby Portis, is a good player. If Bobby Portis is putting up 23, you got to figure out how to get us more than two, bro. Because guess what? If you even have a little bit better of a game, just a little bit, if you give us 11 points, that's nine points right there. Could have been a whole different ball game. If you give us 15 points, we probably win that game. The numbers show we will win that game. Because honestly, we didn't shoot that much worse. Then the Bucks. We shot 50% from the field. They shot 50% from the field. We shot 28% from three. They shot 34. And that might seem like a big difference, but we made 11 threes. They made 12. They were 18 to 23 from the free throw line. We were 18 to 22 from the free throw line. Another area that we have to get better on, and this is it. Um, part of this is John Collins. Really, it's everybody. We have to stop giving up so many gosh dang second chance points. Finish the defensive possession 
with a rebound. Do not give them any more second chance points. And this is not for the Bucks. You've been doing it too much lately. You've been giving teams too many second chance points. Finish the defensive possession with a rebound. Hawks, stop giving these teams second chance points. Stop letting these teams get offensive rebounds all the gosh dang time. There was a point in the game where the Bucks had 12 second chance points and we had zero. Zero. That is also where the difference in the game was. Like I said, shot pretty much the same. Free throws were pretty much the same. But your second best player, who is at least paid to be your second best player, was doo-doo. And you gave up way too many second chance points. Because I'll tell you what, besides the starters, the Bucks bench didn't do nothing. I don't think anybody on the Bucks bench had more than four points. Now, I will say this. Giannis had 43. He dropped a 40 bug on our head. He had 43. Like I said, Bobby Portis had 23. Chris Middleton, the second best player. He showed up for his team, John Collins. He had 23. And I forget the rest of the numbers. I think the Drew Holiday had like 11 or something like that. But the point being, we need guys like you, John Collins, who's supposed to be our second best player, who is getting paid like our second best player to show up and play like he is the second best player, my dude. And Hawks as a team, get the rebound. Clint, get the rebound. John, get the rebound. Double O, get the rebound. Danilo, get the rebound. Everybody, rebound the basketball. You got to do that better. Now, I will say I did like this from the game. I saw Nate McMillan got ejected. He was fired up, trying to light a fire under this team. So I did like seeing that. So kudos to Nate for that. But this is why games like the Detroit game are so big to win. You got a chance to get to 500, feel good about yourself. And now, even if we still lose the game tonight, if we win the Detroit game, now we're just 32 and 33 instead of 31 and freaking 34. When you lose games you're supposed to win and then you lose a tough game, it just piles on and piles on and piles on. That's why you got to beat the teams you're supposed to be. Get the wins you're supposed to get. So it ain't piling on. It turns into a snowball effect that eventually becomes a freaking avalanche of bad stuff happening. And L's on top of L's on top of L's on top of L's. Ay, 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 man. Mm, 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 mm. So, like I said, we're sitting all right in tent since we did win that Washington game. But still, we ain't out the woods yet. We ain't in the play-in yet. <laughs> Forget the playoffs. We're not even in the play-in yet. So, <coughs> excuse me. Hawks got to get some wins. And uh, obviously, and hopefully we can be saying, I hate to be the dead horse and keep saying what I've been saying, but we got to figure out to string some wins together. And that's just what it is. <laughs> I'm just telling you like it is. So we'll see. But guys, make sure you like this video. Comment your thoughts. How you feeling about the Hawks? How you feeling about the game in the comments below? Like this video. Comment your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the first link in my description box. To buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. Like I said, help fuel the Atlanta Hawks to a win. We're going to take one game at a time at this point. Can't even say some more wins because we're just trying to get one win. We're just trying to take one win at a freaking time. So buy me a coffee if you can. Also, check out the second link in my description box to subscribe to the Tough Calls podcast. For me and girls, someone with these buzzwords. Talking to your favorite former and current athletes, hosts, anchors, reporters, head coaches, all that good stuff. Listen to the pod, like the pod, download the pod, subscribe to the pod, and share it out to your friends so they can do all the same things. But again, guys, Hawks lose 124 to 115. Until I talk to y'all next time, stay true to Atlanta, believe in Atlanta, go Hawks. Peace.